I love Nigeria. Are you ready? Are you ready? Make a shout to the heavens! Let's go, come on. 
The moment you reach the fifth time, I want you to dance a dance like you've, you, you've never danced before. Bring a new dance on board. Are you ready? Are you ready? I'm, I'm, I'm searching for one not right now. Yeah, yeah. David, come, 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 come. Five times, are you ready?
sake. Hallelujah. Tell me that chains are breaking for my sake. Miracles everywhere. Hallelujah.
Hallelujah. Now very simple for you say, aha. Uh-huh. Like that. Aha. Uh-huh. Aha. Uh-huh. Okay. We say, aha. Uh-huh. Everybody. Aha. Uh-huh. Everybody. Aha. Uh-huh. Come on. Aha. Uh-huh. Aha. Uh-huh. Yeah. Aha. Uh-huh. Come on. Come on. Aha. Uh-huh. Everybody. Aha. Uh-huh. Aha. Uh-huh. Blessed in the city. Uh-huh. Blessed in the field. Uh-huh.
Lift up your voice and hands and bless him right now. He's the God Almighty doing wonders, signs, and miracles in our midst. What God can do doesn't exist. Why don't he just lift that voice and bless the omnipotent God? He's God by himself. We bless your name, God. Shakala Barabas, we bless you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus.
Let's lift those holy hands to God. And as you lift them to God, I want you to pronounce, confess. I want to declare to him. I want you to tell him you are holy. I want you to tell God you are holy. You are holy. Just tell him, I know you are holy. I know you are holy. And I know. I have seen you. You are holy. I have seen you. You are holy. You are holy. You are holy. Lord God Almighty. Sit down briefly. The last the last twelve hours is our equimenabidi as you say from early this morning around two AM Kusawangamunana. The Lord began dealing with me in a severe way. Mukama atandi so kunko lako mungeri ya mani. And he asked me a question. Nambu ze chivuzo. You say consecration. Oga manji kwa uriwa. Do you understand it? Uchitegeira. One of the things it put upon me is what I'm going to share with you. He said the fact that my people have gathered it doesn't mean I have allowed you to stand before them. My people gathering doesn't mean I have permitted to stand before them. You need to seek my permission. Even when my people have gathered, you need to ask me if you are to stand before them. He said, the fact that I have given you money doesn't mean I have allowed you to spend it. The fact that I have anointed you doesn't mean that I've allowed you to use that anointing. It's my anointing on you. It's my anointing on you. Your only responsibility is to guard it because it's my anointing. They are my people. It's my money in your pocket, in your bank account. The fact that I've given you a voice, it doesn't mean I've allowed you to use it the way you want. The fact that I've given you people to believe you, it doesn't mean you do what you want with them. 
He said to me, son. You see that gallery? I'm not near. I'm not near the it. Verse. So you have to come. If you can. I am holy. And the only way you can stand in my presence is with only the fear of me in you. And he said to me, amidst the people there, amidst the ministers on the altar, amidst the ministers in the teams here, where is the fear of God in them? Where is the fear of God in your midst? God in your team, in your pastors, in your ministers. How is this gathering different from those God has brought you from? He said, how is it different from the gatherings where they were defiled? How is it defiled how is it different from the concerts? Do you know why I said consecration camp? It had nothing to do with the service. Nothing. I wanted my people to come and the minister to me says the Lord they have their churches their places where their pastors their people minister to them but I set apart this place that my people may minister to me not to come because I want to give them anything. But to come because I am God. I want, I've separated them from their places, from their nations, that they may minister to me. And he said to me, you are guilty because you've turned, now you're playing church again. You are only about presentation. You are about people gathering. Even the defiled. Even the, the, those that are, are, are not worthy to be on my, my heel. You've allowed them to trample my courts. You've entertained them. You are burdened about them. Your concern is the people. Not protecting my, 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 my sanctuary. And many of us gathered here. To be but he's saying to us, this place, the remaining days, minister to me. Minister to me.
How many people here? How many of you trembled and prepared to stand before God's people today? How many of you you can say the Lord permitted to stand here. That you ask for permission to stand on this altar. And he said go. Did he tell you to go? Did he tell you to stand? Did he tell you to say that? Did he tell you to sing that? Where is the fear of God in this house? Where is the fear of God in your heart? Where is the fear of God in your prayers? He said to me, I'm holy. You know, in the book of Exodus chapter 19, from the beginning of the book Israel were having fun. They saw how God punished their enemies. They saw how Egypt was suffering. They saw how God preserved them. They saw the red sea parting. They saw bread come from heaven. They saw water coming from a rock. They saw bitter water turn sweet immediately. Until they come to Sinai. And the games are now ending. Uh, they had known God who punishes Egypt until they came to Mount Sinai and that was the separation he came in his might the mountain was wrapped in smoke because God descended on it in fire. The smoke of it went up like smoke of a kiln. The whole mountain trembled greatly. And the sound of the trumpet grew louder and louder. Moses spoke. And God thundered. And God answered him in thunder. The Lord came down on Mount Sinai. To the top of the mountain. And the Lord called Moses to the top of the mountain. And Moses went up. And the Lord said to Moses. Go down and warn the people. Lest they break through to the Lord to look and many of them perish. And also let the priests who come near to the Lord consecrate themselves. I haven't heard what I said. And the And let the priests who come near to the Lord consecrate themselves. Lest the Lord break out against them. Is he the same God we are seeking? Is he the same God we are seeking?
Is it possible that you are the preacher of the day and you are ready to go and preach and you stay where you are because God has not told you go to that altar. And you tell people he has not yet released me to you. This afternoon when he released me. And when I stood here. He said to me. I released to come here. But you've not even asked me if you should stand there. Even to stand there now. Have you asked me? Have I, have I allowed you? Have you consecrated yourself, your thoughts, your desires, your imaginations that you can stand there where I'm standing? Where would David always of you? Okuyaya na ko biyona biyoli osobolo kuyimidida weni miride. I don't know if you know what it means. Simanyo wema chechitegeza. When the Lord says, "Mukama bwagamba," I'm not going with you. Sigenda na we. I am not going with you, James. They have gathered there from morning, but I'm not going with you. I am not going until this is sorted out. Until this is sorted out in your heart. Until you have consecrated your thoughts, your desires, your imaginations, that nothing in you desires to please any man. The rest of the six days, friends, I will be here. I will be with the Lord more than I am with you. Hear what the scriptures say. And let the priests who come near to the Lord consecrate themselves lest the Lord breaks out against them. And Moses said to the Lord, the people cannot come up to Mount Sinai. For you yourself warned us, saying, set limits around the mountain and consecrate it. And the Lord said to Moses, go down and come up, bring Elon with you. But do not let the priests and the people break through to come up to the Lord, lest he break out against them. Remember in verse, uh, in, in, in the same chapter, the Lord began talking with Moses. In the third new moon after the people of Israel had gone out of the land of Egypt. The Lord quote verse 3. While Moses went up to God. The Lord called him out of the mountain. That you shall say to the house of Jacob. And tell the people of Egypt. Of, of Israel. You yourself have seen what I did to the Egyptians. And how I bore you on eagles wings and brought you to myself. There's, a, there's a, a statement that is very profound here. The reason God delivered them from Egypt is to bring them to himself. Not for anything. It's like he missed them. The world had millions of people. In, 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 in,
Let me bring them to myself. Kambalete jendi. Let me bring them to myself. Kambalete jendi. One day I asked the Lord, I said, Lord, to some of us, why is so hard? To other people, they can do whatever they want. And he said, James, James, it takes generations to find one man after my heart. And when I find him, I guard him. I'm jealous. And when he lets me down, I just know it will take generations. And he began showing me in scripture. He said, look, from Abraham, it took generations to find David. All those in between, he was trying to look for one man who can be for himself. It's as if he's lonely there. And when he finds one, and says, I found a man after my heart. He, he possesses him. He because say, I found one. Who I can say go and goes. Who I can say sit and sit. Who can say sell and sell. He said to me, James, James, it takes years, generations to find a man like this heart. So that's why I'm hard on you. That's why I'm, I'm, I'm strict on you. It will take generations to find another one. Who can be rejected by everyone but still says, but Lord, I love you. Who can give everything to the Lord and still rejoice in him? So, each Israel, he says, I, the reason I bow you on ego's wings brought you to myself. I brought you to myself. Tell your neighbor he has brought you to himself. I brought you to myself. You had beautiful churches. You have beautiful homes. You have wonderful cities. Great hotels. And say, no, I've brought you to myself. To myself. But even when I've said, I brought to myself, you began trampling, you were trading, defiling my coats. Just transferred your church. Just transferred your, your, your religion to another place. And how many people here you consecrated yourself, you repented, you fasted, you said, Lord, do you want me there? Do you want me here? Mukama on Jagala Kubeda Wano. He said, he said, consecrate hear this verse. You indeed obey my voice and keep my covenant covenant. You shall be my treasured possession among all people, for for all the earth is mine. And you shall be to me a kingdom of priests, a holy nation. These are the words that you shall speak to the people of Israel. So Moses came and called the elders of the people and said before them all these words that the Lord has commanded him. And all the people answered together and said, all that the Lord has spoken we will do. And Moses reported the words of the people to the Lord. And the Lord said to Moses, behold, I am coming to you in a thick cloud that the people may hear when I speak with you. And may also 
believe you forever. Then Moses told the words of the put to the Lord, and the Lord said to Moses, Go to the people and do what? Go to the people and consecrate them today and tomorrow. And let them wash their garments. Someone said, wash their garments. And be ready for the third day. For on the third day, the Lord will come down on Mount Sinai in the sight of all the people. And you shall set limits for the people all around. Friends, this is what I believe it should have been like this. That when we gathered here and someone walks here would fear because every one of us will be carrying the fear of God and someone will say, I have gone to the mountain and I have found the people walking here in the fear of God. I found them, a thousand of them, but as if there was nobody on the hill. But if a stranger just walks in, who will just go and testify and say, I entered the ground and you could tell that is the fear of God. You could tell the way people talk, the way people conduct themselves, the way people are quiet, the way people are watching. You could tell the fear of God and I fear even to join them. And each one of them soaked in waiting upon God. Each one of them soaked in ministering to the Lord. Each one of them soaked in putting their lives right with God. And a stranger could, and a non believer could say, You could tell the fear of God in these people. Each one of them, friends, witches can now can come and sit in this meeting. The unclean can sit here. And nothing trembles and nothing happens because we, like, we are like them. There's a reason when we bought this land, the Lord told me, all the money you have first build a wall. Why should we use, why should we spend all these hundreds of millions just building a wall on a piece of land, empty land. The Lord was saying, mark the land. Cut it off. It's my land. It's my place. And consecrate the place. And when people come from the nations, let them be consecrated. Let them minister to me in the fear of God. And Do you agree with me that the next six, year, six days when someone comes here will say it's not just another Balokoli place. I found a people set apart for God. I found a people repenting. I found a people walking right with God. I found a people careful. Whatever is on this ground can judge you. The stones, the soil, the tree, the rocks, whatever is on this ground can be judgment, can be life, but can be death because God is holy. Whatever is here, Whatever is here, 
In the coming days, I may pull, I may take off all these machines and remove them from this ground. No speakers. No screens. Screen. Just you and God. Just you and God. Just me and God. What will it benefit us after 10 days here and we go without seeing him and we leave this ground without encountering him? Why? You pay all your money, travel all, all your, from your nations. You've left your work, you've left your family. family you're you are sleeping in a tent and you've not seen God. What, how, what will it help you? Where is the fear of God? Mount Sinai was a separation. They had heard about God. But they have never, they have never seen him come down in fire. Let me tell you, friends. It's better to decide now to leave this place and go back home today. Or, or go back to your hotel and stay away from this place. I don't want anything that. I don't want what can happen to you. It's better we remain two, three, four people here. And others will remain home. It's better to, to say, let me stop the camp now. I'm not ready. I'm not ready. Because there is going to be a separation. The sons and the liars Liars. There's going to be a separation. And let me tell the ministers here. You're not here to entertain anyone. You're not here to minister to anyone. You're here to minister to the Lord alone. Forget about the demands of the people. Forget about what they ask you. You are not the first one they have asked you. You are here to minister to the Lord. We are not here to say, oh, we had a wonderful gathering. Oh, we are waiting for another one. No. We are here to be refined. We are here for the fire to refine us. I might talk to somebody. Where is the fear of God? He said to me, you are celebrating. He was telling me, James, you are celebrating. James, You, Ojaganya. Ojaganya. Because you built this thing in 10 days. Is it more magnificent than the temple of Solomon? Which I broke down. Every stone was broken. He doesn't, this is not what brings him joy. His joy is not in what you've built. What brings brings joy to him is hearts consecrated. Lives set apart for him. He does not live in buildings. He does not live here in this building. He lives in hearts. You can build all these great things. But hearts are for the devil. That don't please him. He said to me, forget about structures. Forget about buildings. Don't take, don't take your joy, your, your pleasure in what you're building. Let what brings you joy be one heart.
consecrated to God. One soul set apart for God. One only. One woman set apart for God. Yesterday we prayed a prayer. We're covenanting our lives to God. But did you know what you were praying? Was there a change from the prayer here? The next minute, you are back to your own way. You are back in your own way, your own thoughts, your own imaginations, your own plans, your old lifestyle. Just after saying, I covenant my life to the Lord. Just after that, you, you switch to your flesh. You switch to programs. You switch to your desires. But you had said, I covenant my life to God. I let down my life for God. I let down my life for God for, life for, God for the kingdom of God. You had just said that in the next minute that were just words back again we are back again to the way we've been doing things I'm not just saying you has been dealing with me the last 12 hours has been dealing with me. Every day. One by one, ask me questions. Ask me, who are they looking for? You or me? He asked me, those people there, who are they looking for? You or me? Is it your anointing or my anointing? Is it your power or my power? How, why do you use it without asking me? Is it your power? Is it your anointing? It's my anointing. I've, I've just trusted you to keep my anointing, to guard it and use it when I tell you to use it. And to, 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 to train my people to fear me. God teach, that's the assignment. Go teach my people to fear me. Genda Go teach my people to fear me. Out of fearing me, they will love me sincerely. Teach them to fear me. Teach them I am holy. And I never change. I will never change. I am holy. Whatever they do, I am holy. Teach them to fear me. And I'm going to come in your midst. And they will fear me. Pastors, preachers, prophets, apostles, in this house, go teach God's people to fear him. Go teach the church to fear God. Return to your churches with one assignment. To raise a people with the fear of God. Go raise a people. Go raise, even if they are five, two, three, people who fear God. Raise teams that fear God. Train my people to fear me. Said, Stop all you are doing. Go teach my people the fear of God. Train them the fear of God. And he said, many will leave. Many will go back to the world. That will remain. 
shall bear my glory on their shoulders shall bear my glory in their bodies they shall bear my glory the ark of my presence will be in I'll put my tent over them. I'll put, he said, I'm going to put my tent over them. They that have matured in the fear of God. They that are continuing daily in the fear of God. He's looking for a pastor. Rooted in the fear of God. He's looking for apostles. Who are rooted in the fear of God. Who do not trample his coats. Who tremble in his presence. Who always tell him judge me more. And their prayer is. Reduce me Lord. Reduce me every day. In the coming days, when his fire is here, when his fire is here, it's the fear of God in you that will make you survive. Friends, you may lose all. Let them go. If they are contrary to the fear of God, let the man go. If it takes our youth away from the presence of God, let the job go. Let the children go. Let the congregation go. Let them go. Let them go. Let them go. Let me lose all. I remain with God. Do, do not take your presence away from me, Lord. Let the money go. Do not take your presence away from me. Cast me not away from your presence. Do not take your spirit away from me. Please. Don't turn away from me. Lord. 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 Let everything go. Cast me not away from your presence. Cast me not away from your presence, O God. Do not cast me away from your mountain. Do not cast me from your presence. Help me, O God. Help me, O God. Help me. That I may not run from your presence. Help me. That I may not live where you are. Help me. That I may not harden my heart. Help me. That I don't harden my heart. Help me, O God. Help me. Help me. Help me. Help me. Do not cast me away from your presence. Do not, do not turn away from me, Lord. Do not turn away from me, Lord.
Don't go oga. Toge na mukama. Don't go oga. This time tonde kamukama. Don't leave. Don't go. Toge na mukama. Don't leave, don't go. Toge na mukama. Don't leave your temple, Lord. Toge na mukama. Don't leave your mountain, Lord. Toge na mukama. Don't leave your mountain, please. Toge na mukama. 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 Please. Toge na mukama.
Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Let's have our seats, please. Get us a microphone, please, here. Get us a microphone, please, to James. went home, the Lord started speaking to me. Most of the time, I don't know my want to use the Lord, but my spirit started speaking to me about some things. Say, you came here for a purpose. I think when I came here, it was the pastor wife, that was in December. She picked me up among the congregation. And she said that the Lord told her that I have a call of God upon me, but I'm still searching for that call of God. She said that as I have come here, I will find it. I didn't know what it's all about. But when I left, I started introducing some things into the pastor and so my idea. What the pastor has said, just to cut the long story short, I was here this afternoon. The Lord started speaking to me. Say that I have appointed you for something. That this church should be, or this movement, or this ministry, or this camp should be a teaching camp. Listen to me, brethren. None of all that is here, that if you are willing to be used by God, God will not use you. The Lord told me that in the next camp, we should have some outline or some handout. That it shouldn't be just preaching, somebody coming here just preaching because some people are going to throw away their note or some people are not even having a note to write. You know, they have nothing to write. That we should have some handout. And in that handout, most of the things that our leader is going to teach us will be in that handout. When we live here, we go home and we study those things that he has taught us. And also, the Bible doctrines. It should be part of it so that we will learn what is Bible doctrine so that we'll be able to be teachable to go and teach others, to learn and go and teach others. And another thing he told me is the holiness of life, just as he has said. That I and the people in the United States that he has committed unto me we should teach them holiness. So the So, and my teaching them the holiness, or even I have already discussed with the pastor, we are going to have Zoom meetings. In that Zoom meeting, he was going to be teaching the people through the Zoom. Again, the people are going to be the Zoom. Until the time he will arrive in the United States, then we'll go 
to the next level. Paka luali to come America to gende kudali dala. So brethren, Aboluganda no recho. This is not. This is just a starting. To turn the turn the sea. There's something great that is coming. Waliwe chine ne chija. You are going to be a vessel. Ogenda kubere chibia. Prepare yourself. Wait, take it, take it. I'm serious. You are going to be a vessel. This ministry, some of us will be sent on missionary journey from this church. If you are ready for God to use you, God will send you from here to another country as a missionary. So prepare yourself. When the pastor teach here, Go back home and restore what he has taught you. That is the only way you will make it. God bless you. Amen. Let's open our Bible to Deuteronomy chapter 10. And let's go. Before we read verse six, you know, in chapter nine. Musule Omwenda. Moses had gone to the mountain to be with the Lord Musa, and wait upon the Lord. And they had different things. God is ministering. Moses, God is be, uh, Moses before the Lord on the mountain. While Moses is away from them, their hearts are exposed. You didn't hear what I'm saying. They were men, of, they were people of God. They were good men, good women. When Moses was with them. But when Moses went to be with the Lord, on the mountain, and waited and tarried there. The children of Israel, their hearts were exposed. What was in their hearts? An idol. While Moses was with them, they loved the God of Israel. And when Moses went to the mountain, they said, We need a God who will take us back to Egypt. Because Moses is not here. And Aaron, Aloni, not the people, but Aaron, got a good idea. He said, I'll make you a calf. Get your money. I want to request something from today. When a minister is standing here ministering and you want to bless them, I request you wait until the ministry is over. Amen. Amen. I request you what you feel the Lord is telling you to give. Keep it. Until the ministry is over. I want us to avoid things that can defile the message. The things we have been doing. And have been okay. But at this stage the Lord says. Those are idols also. Don't do them. Bless the minister after the ministry. 
Because the time you walk from where to there to here, you've lost a message. You have lost a message. You've lost it. And you've missed, you may have missed a part that is yours. So Moses is before the Lord. And the hearts of his of the followers are exposed. They make an idol. And Aaron tells them, O Israel, this is the Lord your God who delivered you from Egypt. So, they began worshipping it. They began worshipping the idol. And Moses came down angry. Musa nakanga munyivu. He looked at the people that they are seeing all the miracles. Nga natunulira abantu nga bali bala bibya magero yona. Within 6 weeks. Neim week mukaga. They had become a cult. Bali bamazo kufuka cult. That be now worshiping an idol. Nga basinza chifana nyi. They got it took only 6 weeks. Week mukaga zoka. To return to idolatry. To return to witchcraft. Only six weeks. Only. And they will return to witchcraft. Why? Because they had known the works of God. But had not known the ways of God. They had known the works of God. They had known that the, like the church today, especially the Balokole movement, we have known how God works. We have seen God get you from Biwempe to good, good churches and we have seen the works of God and we have a church, the church of the works. Kati tulabye mukama bwatu jambi febi ya wansi na tuleta mbifebi runji kati tulina ikanisa eye bikolwa but we have not known the ways of god nete tutegedde makubo ga katonda so moses is angry kati musa munyivu he says he does all kind of things akole bintu ebyenja ulo can I tell something? There are many people here that when they see what's here, they're seeing business. How, many, how much money can I make out of this? There are many that cannot even sit in the presence of God. But to them, revival means how can I get money? How can I put a business here? Oh, all this, how do I get money out of it? So the fire, the revival fire is exposing hearts. Many hearts are being exposed. Even in the ministering team. But why are they easily in few days people are turning away from the Lord? Because for years they have known the works of God. So, all the first years of their walk, Moses was demonstrating to them the power of God. Like the pastors today we are doing. Demonstrating the power of God. Divide the Red Sea. The miracles of Egypt. The miracles of here and there. And the people seem as if they are for God. But the more the Moses is away that cannot perform the miracles for them. They go back to idols. They go back to their things. So they are angry. So Moses is angry at the people because of what they have done. 
God is about to destroy them. Moses intercedes for them. And I want to listen to this. Hear carefully. You cannot walk the consecration journey without sound teaching. Without teaching. Hello? Not preaching. Not excitement. But deep, deep rooted in sound doctrine. Teaching. Jesus said to the disciples, go and make disciples teaching them to obey. So the journey from Egypt Moses is not teaching people. He's not teaching them. He comes to them and says, that says the Lord. God is saying this. God is saying this. God is saying this. And they are only waiting for Moses to do it for them. So when Moses is away, they go back to their idols. Moses is angry. Why in six weeks they've gone back to the idols? The Lord tells him what to do that will cause the people to walk with him. So he tells him, look, the reason you've broken the first tablets, the anger in you, because you did not teach my people. So the first tablets are, bro are broken. But with the second tablets, the Bible says in Deuteronomy chapter 10, in verse 6, and the people of Israel journeyed from Beroth Bene Jakan to Mosela. Because of, this, because of Aaron's act, Aaron died and, uh, and there he was buried. Maybe you have never known why Aaron died. Chapter 9, he leads the Israel into, into idolatry. Chapter 10, we say he died there. Aaron had to die. He died there. And there he was buried. And his son, Eliezer, ministered as priest in his place. From there, they journeyed to Galgoda and from Gaugoda to Jabatha, and a land with the brooks of water. Remember, from all the people on the face of the earth, God has chosen Israel. But at this place now, the Lord says, I can't have the whole tribe, the whole nation. Because now I think this whole nation is, has issues. He set apart one tribe. Remember, God created the whole earth. From the whole world, he chose Israel. But then, even in Israel, he says, Okay, if the whole nation cannot be priests to me, let me pick one. So the Bible says, At that time, the Lord set apart the tribe of Levi to carry the ark of the covenant of the Lord, to stand before the Lord, to minister to him. And this version says to bless, to, to minister to him and to bless his name. Their work, it says, okay. 
Israel, I love you so much. Israel, but okay, now if all of you can't, let me take a small portion of you to minister to me. Let others minister to you. But let this small tribe, the Levites, to minister to me. I'm looking at, I'm waiting for a time when we have a group of people who their work is to be in this place 24 hours ministering to the Lord. Not praying for the sick. Not casting out devils. But ministering to the Lord. And blessing his name 24-7. There are people here that are, God, God is calling for such an assignment. To minister to him. So it says, I've chosen this to minister to me. And to me to, to bless his name. And he says something. Some say consecration. Now listen. There is a level of consecration. Where you will not you will own nothing. When you have all, but you own nothing. So he says, Therefore, Levi, Levi has no portion all inheritance with his brothers. As the Lord your God said to him. So, say Levi, Levi will have nothing. Levi will be ministering to me. When you begin navigating the heavens, you find that in all, most of the dimensions of the heavens, you find a manifestation of the Levitical anointing. In other words, you find Levi in all the 12 dimensions. And you are, always I ask, what is he doing? Why is Levi here? In other words, because Levi is present in all the 12 dimensions. Meaning everyone who navigates the heavens. I'm talking about the heavenly man. Has to deal with the failures of Levi. Because it's present in all the dimensions Kubanga of the heavens. Every time you are sent in different dimensions, there are times when you are confronted with Levi. And what are, what are the weaknesses of Levi which you, you deal with in pursuing holiness? Levi's anger. Levi's anger. Levi's anger is one of the things we deal with as we begin to seek consecration. Because it's, we are being ushered to minister the Lord. And because that's our, our, our makeup we find that we are confronted with the Levi seed in us is exposed. Are you getting me? A man of God Moses when it manifested Levi in him manifested. Because if you read Exodus it says about Moses a man of the tribe of Levi went to the woman of the tribe of Levi and brought forth this small boy Moses. And this is what God said about Levi.
Levi. In anger. Watu mtu. Cast be your anger. Obusungu obukoli mimi. I will scatter you in Israel. Ndikusasa nyamu Israeli. And I will not be part of your gathering. Ila siribe ila chitundu kunkunga nazo. That's what Jacob said about Levi. Echo Yakobo chiyogera ku Levi. And now Moses begins to ascend and do the things of God leading a nation but several, in several stages the Lord wants to remind him to deal with something in him three times the Lord is revealing to him something he kills a man in Egypt the Lord is saying Deal with this now. He runs away. He goes for 40 years. He returns. He breaks the tablets. The Lord is telling him, wait, something is in you, you need to deal with it. He keeps going. After 40, almost 40 years, the Lord tells him, speak to the rock. And in anger, he hit the rock. And God says, enough. Enough. You will not enter the promised land. You will not go in. Why? You have not honored me in the eyes of Israel. You have not feared me. You've brought my name to shame. So you will not go in. Anger. Moses is leading the people. He's showing them the power of God. But something in his blood, the anger of his father, still comes up. Still comes up. And this is Levi, who has been chosen to minister to the Lord. And before you minister to the Lord, when God has chosen you, it doesn't mean you are qualified. He chose you, he picks you, and then you need to seek to be qualified. He, has, he says you are, you are a prophet. It doesn't mean you've been perfected. He's calling you to perfection. A call is a raw material. It's, a, it's raw. It has to go through a fire. It has to be refined. The fire of consecration. Because even with your iniquities, he calls you with them. But he does not expect you to remain in them. He calls you with your iniquities. But he doesn't expect you to remain carrying them forever. So he calls you to minister to him. But at the same time, he rejects you to minister to him. He's called you, but he's not allowing you. Because he's saying, Whoever is to stand before me must be holy. And must know I'm holy. Everyone who approaches me that's what, everyone who approaches me must know that I am holy. Hmm? Everyone who approaches me that's what he says. Whether I have called you Whoever I've loved you, if you were to approach me, you must know I'm a holy God. So he calls Levi to minister to him. But Levi has to be purified. Has to go through cleansing. Has to allow to be holy. And, and Levi has no portion. He's seeing all his brothers prosper. He sees them driving cars. And he's not driving. 
He sees them building houses. He has no house. Why? God is his portion. God is his portion. When the Lord spoke to me and my wife, and told us you own nothing. So you're going to own nothing. Because I want to minister to me. Remember, I sat down and said, Honey, what's the Lord saying? He said, If the Lord is saying we own nothing, what is that one thing we still own today? And we said, It's a house. So we said, The money we are going to get from the house, put it before the Lord. We will not own any until the Lord says so. And remember that night she said, Honey, I feel a release now. That we, don't, we have all, but we don't own any. And I thought that was over. And I said, God, I've given it to you now. We own nothing now. He came back and said, Son, you are not yet where I want you to be. Heart is not to me because I want you to minister to me that when the time comes to leave earth you are not attached to anything you are not saying God let give me another month if I say James I'm taking you now there's nothing to tell say Lord let me go and first put there When I always tell people and my people here they said I will cancel it. I tell them that I'm sure I'm sure I can't stay here long. I'm sure for that. I don't have many years. Why? After I finish what God wants me to do and he says come it must it might not be it, it should not be an accident i must willfully say lord take me because you are for you. Not man of God, I, you. I want to book an appointment. How much money? The moment the mission is that I'll never meet them. It's not to minister to people. Minister to the Lord. To meet the Lord. You know, men of you, you may be hard. But in this camp, I'm not going to meet anyone one on one. I'm not going to do it. You came to meet Jesus, not James. And those of you that are calling for appointments, I don't do counseling. counseling. And I don't do deliverance one on one. And I don't pray for people in my office. And I don't pray for people on the street. I don't pray for people. I minister to the Lord. Regardless of who you are. Whether you are, you, you are which status, whatever, 
title you have, even if the president came today, I will not pray with him. I will not even go to his office. I will not even take the call say, oh, his excellency wants to stop the service and pray for him. I will remain before the Lord. I will remain ministering to the Lord. And the next thing I'll be doing is what God told Moses. What did he tell him? To teach Israel to fear God. Look at what he has said to, to the Levi, to, the, to Levi. And then he turns to Israel in verse 12. And now Israel, what does the Lord your God require of you? Tell your neighbor, what does the Lord your God require of you? Mm? Pastor James, I, 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 I'm in bondage. I have ten demons. I have a snake in my stomach. I have a curse on me. Okay, I've had that. But what does the Lord require of you? All those are there. But what does God require of you? But to fear the Lord your God and to walk in all his ways to love him to serve the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and to keep the commandments and statutes of the Lord which I'm commanding you today for your good. This is for your good. One. To fear the Lord your God. To walk in all his ways. To serve the Lord your God with your heart and with all your soul. To keep the commandments of the Lord. Which I am commanding you today for your good. Behold, to the Lord your God belong heaven and the heaven of heavens. The earth with all that is in it. Yet the Lord Mukama set his heart in love on your fathers and chose their offsprings after them, you above all peoples, as you are this day. Mukama Yasanyu Kira Busanyu Kiziba Jajabe, but Jajabe Okubagala, Nalondeza Dediawe. Verse 16. Circumcise therefore the foreskin of your heart. And be no longer stubborn. For the Lord your God is God of gods. Lord of lords, the great, the mighty, and the awesome God, who is not partial and takes no bribe. Verse 20. You shall fear the Lord your God. You shall serve him and hold fast to him. And by his name you shall swear. He is your praise. He is your God who has done for you the great and terrifying things that your eyes have seen. He says that to, the, to Israel. What does the Lord require? To fear the Lord your God. To walk in all his ways. But most of our hearts are hardened 
Jaka kanyara. Hard hearts. Emitima emikaka nyavu. Stubborn hearts. Emitima ejima emibamba vu emikaka nyavu. Dial of nyavu. hearing. Ejita ulira. May God deliver us from the spirit of slumber. Mukama atsumulo kuva moyo woku bongota. The slumber in the church. Slumber in our hearts. That we, lee, we hear. Nti. But we never understand. Ever hearing. Preacher after preacher. And never act. Someone after someone. Book after book. Prophecy after prophecy. No action. We are a dull people. Dull hearts. Stubborn hearts. That you can be here. But you are planning and you are thinking of something that you know is contrary to the will of God. Because there is no fear of God in In the coming days, let's sit down. And listen. And hear. And learn. The ways of God. Let's learn the ways of God. Let's ask him to teach us his ways. Let us not become magicians. Trying to Perform miracles for people who will end up in hell. Who will end up losing their souls. Let this gathering be where we learn the fear of God. Let let this center be the center of the fear of God. That your heart will be circumcised. Are there people here tonight? You are saying, I want to lay down my life. I want to lay down my life. I want to lay down my life for God. To be holy. To be accepted. What will it profit a man to eat the world but lose his own soul? You mean, brother, you can't give God only ten days? That even the ten days you still run away to go and do your prostitution with the world. Oh, I need to go and get some money. You mean you can give holy ten days to the Lord? Ten days you can't give holy ten days to the ten days to the Lord. Just ten days. Just 10 days of your life and close everything and just give the Lord 10 days. Attention to God alone. And you say, I'm, going, I'm not going to leave this camp. I'm not going to do any trade on this camp. I'm not going even to call it people. I'm going to stay before the Lord. I'm going to switch off my phone for 10 days. I'm going to be before the Lord. Hear what the Bible says. Hear what Moses says. Deuteronomy 9.25 Deuteronomy 9.25 He says So I lay prostrate before the Lord for these 40 days and 40 nights. My children, do you hear this? Worship team, look here. Look, look at me. No, you ever say, look at me. Oh, you. 
He says, Agamba. Moses lay prostrate before the Lord for 40 days and 40 nights. Did he have work? Yes. He had a congregation of a million people depending on him a million people actually more than a million people I can just say maybe there were two million people he had cases to judge he had issues of counseling and he left them he went before the Lord. Prostrated before the Lord. 40 days. And 40 nights. Like this. Day and night. Day and night. Not telling God what to do. But waiting until the Lord speaks. Just before the Lord. He has a ministry. But for 40 days. It took 40 days and 40 nights. To get the message. 40 days alone. Boom. I don't know how many days you've ever spent alone. If I say let's stay here the next six days, close that gate. Many of you will get a heart attack. Many of you will get a heart attack. Many of you will get into depression. <laughs> You can't just imagine being in one place for two days. You came to Uganda for consecration. But you're traveling, we are going to do this. Let's buy this. Let's buy this. Did you come to trade? Or you came to tarry before God? Some of you are busy now. I want to buy a house. I want to buy land. There is a land in your country. There is a land in your nations. You didn't come to trade. You came to wait upon the Lord. What I'm going to do? I'm going to collect all your cards. All your cards, credit cards, debit cards, all your cash, I'll give it to you after 10 days. Yes. There are things, your credit card may be now what defiles you now. May God block it until you leave this place that you cannot buy anything and you are living by faith here even the food to eat you say God will help me because the card is not working and technical technicians here no one is allowed to charge a phone here have you heard me? No one is allowed to charge their phones on this campus. If your battery goes down, praise the Lord. You can charge in your hotel. On those beds in the hotel where everyone has been sleeping. The wicked, the prostitutes, the robbers, on that bed, you can sleep there. Mm. Last night, they were fornicating on that bed and now you're sleeping on it. It's okay. 
The witches, the wizards, you, you are sharing the same bed with them. You can sleep in your hotels. But those that are not in the hotels and you are here, no charging your phone. You'll, you'll charge at the airport when you are going back. <laughs> you will charge at the airport when you are going back into, your, into the world. But while you are here, don't waste our electricity. Mm. Uh, are we here? We truly. You know, I went to sleep the other day. First night, we were here. I said uh, my, my tent was not ready. And I went to sleep in the hotel. And my wife, I woke up and told honey. I can't sleep here again. Mm -hmm. I have been defiled. Said so I will go back to the center. Or I'll go back to my house. Because I was seeing. I was in that bed. And we were like 50 people in one bed. I said, Honey, who are these people in this bed? I said, realize all the people that have ever slept in that bed were present in that bed. I said, I said, we are men on the bed. I was sleeping on the edge of the bed. Because the guys were. Fifty of us. We are in the bed. I just left the bed, sat in the chair, and waited till morning. The next day, I said, honey, I will come. I'll take you to the hotel. I'll return to the center. And I'll sit in my chair till morning. I sat in my chair there. And I came, I slept there, waiting upon the Lord. Because I said, I can't be in one bed with 500 people. Oh, and you know, many of you, because you are, your spirits are dull, you've been sleeping with those people in that bed and you didn't even know they are there. And they're in the bed. In the field. And they're there. They're there. And I don't know how many beds you slept in. From the time you left your home up to here today. Hello. Hello. I'm, I'm sorry to tell you that because I think like, oh my, I'm finished. Okay, someone said, how we Ah, you can. Praise the Lord. But some are not easy to go. Some have owned that bed for, for centuries. The owner of the, the, of the hotel dedicated every bed to a demon. Sacrificed a human being for every room. Shed, shed human blood and babies and virgins on those beds. Women were raped on that bed. Their souls were trapped on the bed you are sleeping on. They were raped there. I don't know the amount of prayer you need to cleanse your room. <laughs> Some of you who are here, you've even paid your money. You are paying for a bondage. You are paying money for your soul to be trapped. Can you imagine? You even pay every night for your soul to be trapped.
That's why. Yes, Next camp. I will not let you in other hotels. Only the hotel we have prepared. The one we've built from the foundation. The, every room we have prayed. The intercessors have gone through the brooms. The rooms are sanctified. They are, they are holy. We guard everything is not nothing's defiled because it doesn't help to bring you from the nations and hand you over to a witch because he owns a hotel it doesn't help <laughs> don't get so troubled my daughter don't get so troubled in the days you did not know God has forgiven you. But the days when you know, Moses, Musa, for 40 days and 40 nights. You want to? For 40 days and 40 nights on a mountain alone with God. Huh? There was a man of God who went to the prayer mountain in a bush here in Uganda. And the people who were taking care of the mountain at Segoku there. Their work was to go and check on him if he's still there. And he could say, Jari. Is he there? He still was still there. Days and nights. And he was in that bush. Waiting upon the Lord. And they could say, The man is still there. One week, two weeks, three weeks, there with God, waiting upon God. And when he left that hill, could see a move of God in the land. Men of God, women of God here, it's time to sit. It's time to sit. This center will be for sitting. When you come and, and say, James, James, I have my tent. I'm going to put it down at the well. Please don't check on me. And you stay there. No you, No one will ask you to pay anything. You just put your tent there and be quiet. And be quiet. And call, but you know, you don't bring your your family on the on the on the mountain. Many of you have come with a stove, <laughs> gas cooker, gas cooker, mosquito net, mosquito. <laughs> eh? Everything at home you brought it here. But you know, you are, even you are, even you are cooking now. And this is the last camp we are having food on the center. The next, all the other camps, food is prohibited on the center ground. Yeah. yeah. Why? Food can defile. Most of you, you are already defiled. The food you have eaten. Now you have to pay for treatment when you live here. Because you are sick. The food has made you sick. If you are taking water only, you would be okay. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So I lay prostrate before the Lord these 40 days and 40 nights. Because the Lord had said he would destroy you. God is coming to destroy Israel. And Moses stays there. 
Musa nasigalawo interceding and waiting nga yegairira for 40 days enakwana and 40 nights e nichirene misana what if the lord wants to stay another 10 days here utyanga mukama yegalawo yongere na kukumiendala and your work is to prostrate yourself here ngomulimo gwe kuwe ba kuwe kuvuna mano masoke on this carpet until your nation is saved until South Africa is saved until Kenya is saved and you remain on the altar that until the wrath of God is lifted for your nation unlike other days Today, Lero, I want you to lift your hands and say, Lord, have me. Have me. Have me. I'm, willing, I'm giving my life, my all to you. I'm giving my soul, my spirit, my future to serve the living God. I live for God. I will live for God. I offer myself as a sacrifice. I come to you, O oh Lord, today to love you, to serve you, to love you and to serve you. Where you're standing, the heaven is opening over your life and you're seeing him and he's saying come to me come to me and live for me come up here come I hear the Lord is putting it upon my heart that I have found he has found a man among us. He has found a woman among us to, to minister to him. Jesus. Yes. Ashes. Somebody just give your life to the Lord. You will see him tonight. He will reveal his name and his glory in fear, in holiness, in righteousness. I'm standing now. He says, I found a man. I found a young man amidst you. I have found a young lady. I found a woman. Saying, I found one. I found a vessel. Jesus. Yes. Keep telling him, Here I am, Lord. Jesus. Yes. I'm here. Ndiwano. Jesus. Yes. Holy Spirit. I'm here. Ndiwano. I'm here. Ndiwano. Woman of God here. You will live for the altar. All the days of your life. And on the altar. You shall teach many the fear of God. Woman of God here, Apostle, you will teach many to fear God. Apostle, a woman apostle, you will teach many to fear God. You will teach kings to fear God. You will teach a generation 
will be holy to me. You will birth them. You will birth many. Woman. 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 The Lord says, You are His bride. The bride of Christ. The bride of Christ. The bride of Christ. The bride. Woman. You are my bride. 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 Teach the children I'm giving you to fear me. To carry my glory. To host me. Woman. Apostle. To me. Apostle Rose. Apostle Rose. Teach my people to fear me. Teach your generation my word and how to host my glory. Have I not taught you? Have I not trained you all these years? Have I not separated you? Have I not separated you from the defilement of your generation? Have I not made you different from them? Have I not been teaching you Somebody lift your hands now. I'm clothing you as my bride. I'm giving you a clean garment. I'm giving you a clean garment. Apostle. I'm giving you a clean garment. Apostle. I'm giving you a clean garment. I hear this word. Warrior brides. Warrior brides. Warrior brides. You shall raise them. Warrior brides. Warrior brides. Brother, you shall raise them. Warrior brides. Wherever you are, warrior brides, new, ah, new garments, clean, 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 without stain, without stain. <sighs> Warrior brides, end time brides, uh, shall follow you, shall sit at your feet, shall learn from you. Warrior brides, warrior brides, it's about garments tonight. It's about garments tonight. It's about garments tonight. Apostles are about yes. Woman. A woman here. An apostle. In a generation where the message of purity is not preached. You shall bring it now with authority. 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 You will not compromise. You will not compromise. You will not fear them. You will not fear them. You will be bold because their hearts will be exposed to you. You shall know the hearts of men when they come before you. Your purity shall expose their hearts. Your purity shall expose them. Your purity, you will know their thoughts. You will decide hearts. You discern hearts. You discern their hearts. Because you are Kuboli.
Everyone in this room. Wherever you are standing, wherever you are sitting, wherever you are today, the heaven is open on you. A pillar of light is on your life. On your head to heaven. Yeah. <laughs> Receive a baptism of pure fire of pure fire a pure stream a baptism of the Holy Spirit now a baptism of the Holy Spirit to teach purity to teach the fear of God to bring many as brides there is a baptism happening right now I see like tongues of fire coming on people's heads you are receiving a new tongue clean and pure oh my god oh my god oh my god everyone here <laughs> keep praying keep on the altar keep on the altar you are born your bride as, you, as an apostle as an apostle a woman apostle yeah the apostolic is at work in your life and a, the apostolic grace to bring many to fear God bring many to holiness ah 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 Siketa do shataya, riketa do shitada, brekete de sietaya. Razia da 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 da. Oya de de ah. Shatata they covenant intercessors warrior brides warrior brides saturday Go deeper. The heaven is open. That you minister to the Lord. That you minister in the beauty of His holiness. Apostle, young man, young man. Do not say I'm young. Like Jeremiah, you shall be to your generation and bring many to repentance. You bring many to fear God. You will, you will bring truth, revelations, and every falsehood and deception will be no more in Uganda and in Africa and in the world shattered us young man today have I not separated you from your generation young woman 
Have I not separated you from your people to be holy to me? To be holy to me? To be holy to me? Young lady here, have I not chosen you from your generation to be holy to me? Says the Lord. To be holy to me, starting now, like a virgin to me. Like a virgin to me. Have I not picked you from a perverse generation and made you holy to me? Hey, 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 pray. Mary, pray. The Lord says, Have I not chosen you as an apostle from a defiled generation to bring my people in the realms of glory? Someone called Mary. Have I not chosen you? Have I not chosen you to be holy to me? To be holy to me, says the Lord. Have I not chosen you, Mary, Mary as an apostle in these days? To be holy to me, your words will be my words. What you say, I would have said. Today, your words become my words. I have cleansed your lips. I have cleansed your lips. I have cleansed your lips. I have cleansed your lips, says the Lord. I have cleansed your tongue. I'm giving you my heart, says the Lord. Masaya Rabu Zia da 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 Rizete de Mokoto Rubuko Yaraba Dididi Zia da 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 Rosege de 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 Riba ba 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 Rama Zia na 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 ne Rubu Zika Tara Mokoto Rubuko Yaraba Dididi Liza ka ta 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 Rima kaya na 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 ne ya da da de kaya na na ne ya da da de riza da 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 razi ya da 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 Riza kata raba di 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 ya da 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 Robos ya na na ne 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 I'm yours I'm yours I'm yours I'm yours Lekesi ya raba di 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 Riba ba 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 la kata raba di 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 ya Majanta ramo koto robo kosi ya robo di 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 Yeze de 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 ya Mazaya ntara makoya mazaya deza Riza katara makoto robo koya raba dididinda Razia nananeza dadade Rezia dadadade zadadade Ribababara kasia nananana Robo zia deji didia dadadada Rabazia makatela makayande dedede Robo zida nananananana Ribazia deza dadadadadadadadadada Rezetela makataya gadididia I make Make you mine. I put my mark upon you. Robo zika tarama kosi alaba di di di. Zada da 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 da. Riza da 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 da. Razika taraga di 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 ya. Robo bo 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 bo. Razika taraba di di ya de 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 de. Majaka taraba di 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 ya da 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 da. Robo zidi di di ya da 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 de de. Robo zidi di di ya da 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 de. Robo zidi di di ya da 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 da. Razaka taraga di da 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 da. Lezeke telemo kosi araba di di di. Riba ba 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 ba
I put my mark of ownership upon you. Roboziya na 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 Roboziyekete robo kosiye robo di di di. Riza da 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 Zia da 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 Yezekete ya makata ya gadididia Robozi katana mokosi yerebo dididi Riba ba 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 Maya gade zididia riba ba 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 ya de 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 robo zididia da 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 raba ba 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 residia da 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 de residia da 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 residia da 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 residia da 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 residia da 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 residia da 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 residia 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 da 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 da, 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 residia da 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 Robos, ya 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 ya, ya 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 ya, 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 ya 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 ya. Oh warrior pride, arise. Ya de 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 de, riba ba 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 ba, raba si ya da 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 de, ya 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 ya, ya 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 ya, ya 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 ya, isa da de 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 de, riba ba 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 ba, robo si di di ya da 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 da, isi salaga di 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 ya de, riba da 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 da, riba da 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 da, ya 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 ya. Ya 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 ya, riba riba da da, riba riba da da. Ya 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 ya, ya 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 ya, riba riba da da, riba riba da da. Ya 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 ya, ya 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 ya, riba riba da da, riba riba da da. Ya 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 ya. Ya 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 ya, riba riba da da, riba riba da da. Ya 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 ya, ya 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 ya, riba riba da da, riba riba da da. Ya 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 ya, ya 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 ya, riba riba da da, riba riba da da. Ya 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 ya. Ya 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 ya, riba riba da da, riba riba da da. Ya 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 ya, ya 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 ya, riba riba riba, riba riba riba. Ya 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 ya, ya 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 ya. 
Thank you, Jesus. Oi, Valesso. Thank you, Jesus. Oi, Valesso. I just want to share this vision with you. Njagalo gavana ukole sewa kuno namwe. We are in this season where God wants us to be holy. Ngatuli mubiro mukama wa yagala tuberele batukuvu. Last year after I returned from Uganda. Omako guwe denga mazoku ve Uganda. I've never been well. Sibe nanga koburu unji. In actual fact, my unwellness started after I, I was commissioned by Apostle James. By that time he was an apostle. We called him Apostle James by that time. He is an intercessor. So, when I got home, when I, took a car, I was supposed to undergo a, a, an operation in South Africa. The operation was on the 31st of, uh, of October last year. Now, I, I will tell you the truth. I was scared. I feared a lot of things. There were certain songs when I played, you know, songs of faith when I played, they, they, they will inflict fear in my heart. I took music away from my, my house. I took uh, away songs, even gospel. Most of all my songs are gospel. As much as I don't know how to sing, I would only sing for myself. Now, on the 30th of October, I was examined, pre preparing me for the, for, the, for, the, for the operation. In the early hours of the 31st, the Lord challenged me to pray. I woke up at around two o'clock. I slept for about I had slept only for about one or two hours. I prayed, building an altar for my operation. Because I wanted the angel who operated on, on, uh, on Abraham, on, on, on Adam, to come and operate me. He didn't make any mistake. I said, God, I want this angel to come and operate me. So, I prayed until around 4 o'clock. And after that prayer, I had a nap. A man comes to me. In that nap, in that, it's not, in fact, I was in a trance. It was not a sleep, it was a trance. A gentleman comes to me and says to me, you have raised that altar. It's fine. It's okay. That is a good uh, altar. This man that speaks to me, I could only see him from the bottom up to here. I could not see his face. Then he says to me, but there is this altar you did not raise. Anyway, I'll raise it for you. And then he goes on again and says, there's yet another altar here. I did not, you did not raise. Anyway, I will raise it for you. Then this elegant gentleman, you know, put one nice suit and beautiful shoes. 
Who might not see his face. He turns around you know, walks away from me. Still in my trance. I said God. Holy Spirit who is this? I said God. Holy Spirit who is this? And the Spirit of the Lord says. This is the Lord Jesus. It's Jesus. Yes. Who is saying, I will raise this altar for you. I will raise this altar for you. This vision I shared with James Kawalea. The only man who understood me. Despite that I shared it with other men, other great men of God. Then James says to me, we need to know who is going to go to the altar. The priest who should preside on those altars. And also, what are these other altars? And he helped me. I went back to God. And he said, God, what are these altars? And the Lord starts telling me the the function of the third altar. Mind you, there is this altar that I'm going to be operated. And the altar must send the angel who, op who operated on, on Adam. The altar, that, the altar which the Lord said, Jesus said, it is complete. And then he the Lord skips the middle altar to the last altar. He says the last altar is the altar of divine health. So the Lord Jesus Christ says there is an altar for divine health which the Lord himself raised for us, for us. It's, not, it's not mine it's not James, James. It's, it's for the whole nation now that aroused my curiosity what is this altar what, what is in this middle altar now for some days, for some months, I'm praying and asking God, what is this altar for? Which is not raised by a man. It is raised by the Lord Jesus Christ himself. Lo and behold, days, months later, as the Lord God says, the Spirit of the Lord says, it is the altar for righteous living. To simplify it, it's the altar for holiness. Now, the, my own personal altar, it has been sorted out. And the next altar is not a uh, we is, is, I don't even know what it is until the Lord says it is for holiness for us to pass to the third altar we must go through the holiness process we must go through the cleanness process we must be righteous we must be, we must be consecrated. Our hearts, our soul must be circumcised. I'm not shocked. I'm not surprised. That Apostle James, Intercessor James, stands here and says, you don't fear the Lord. We don't fear the Lord. This is not the message for excitement. We have to be holy in order to access all the benefits from the Lord. This is the time for the new beginning. It is good you are called by God. 
Chirunji waiti wakati wa Katonda. You are some you are assigned by God. Chirunji mkama ya kutuma. But for you even to reach to the to the stage of being healed. Nayo kutoka kumtendero go kuonyezebwa. Healing people. Okuonya abantu. You must be holy. I want us to take it from this end. Because I want us to pray a little bit more. The man who said to you, you are called by God. Who is he? Yani. The altar you are standing on, on the day that uh, you were told, you are a woman of God. You are a man of God. What is that altar? Who, whose voice came from that altar? Is it the voice of the Lord? Is it the voice of the false prophet? Until we know we have righteous living. We live righteously. We are clean. We can receive any evil voice and we will not be able to say this comes from the devil. We have, you know, in my farm there are a lot of jackals. In my farm, there are a lot of jackals. There are a lot of fox, foxes. They are namini. And at night they can howl. All of them can howl. These are some the prophets today we have are like those jackals. Are like those foxes. Everyone rises up from his own house. I heard from God. I heard from God. The Lord says this. Without coming from, with, with, without coming to the altar of holiness, who confirmed your calling? Is it a holy priest, or it is just a jackal around the streets? Who confirmed your calling? Who confirmed your righteousness? Is it not the man that slept? In the house of adultery? Is it not the prophet who says, I live by grace? He can suck the lips of every girl? You may not hear what I'm saying. Because uh, maybe even the spirit in you has not picked up cleanness and righteousness from the throne of God. I want you to check your life. I want you to go back to yourself. The church you go to, a place of worship, how clean is it? Are they pursue, is your pastor, your teacher, the angel of your church, pursuing holiness and righteousness with all his heart? Or he's looking after other things? Praise the Lord. I just want to rise. I want to rise up and say, God, search my heart, search my ways. Who informed me of who I am? Is it you, God? Or is it another voice? How can I be holy before you, God? Am I standing on a holy ground? Am I standing on the holy altar? Hallelujah. I want us to take that prayer. Who are you before Jehovah? Not before people. People can give you names. But who are you before Jehovah God? Who qualifies your being? Who qualifies your Christianity? Who qualifies your, your service to him? Oh God in heaven. Oh God in heaven. I come before you God. I stand before you God. God, I'm standing on a holy ground. I look unto you God. Qualify me to be your servant. Hallelujah.
I want us to I want us to raise our voices and pray. It's it's you and God. God. Who qualified you? Who qualifies you? Which altar qualifies you? Is the altar holy? Or is the altar of the false prophet? Voice and pray. Take the time. Take the time. Lord God. I come before you. I stand before you, God. Give me the mass of Katonda. Shazikaria and Arasa. Rinda Razi Baba. Zikoya Bazika. Ocean Razi Baba Baba Kaziki. Oh God, Lord in heaven. Oh God, Lord in heaven. Katunda Limuguru. The altar. Of righteousness should qualify me, God. The of holiness must qualify me, God. The altar of the cross of Jesus Christ must qualify me, God. The altar of the Lord Jesus Christ. Oh, Gasika, Shandra Sababa the altar, the cross of Jesus, the altar, which is the cross of Jesus, must qualify me, God. Not any other altar. Not any other altar, God. The altar raised by Jesus Christ must qualify me, God. Oh, Zika Baba, Shandra Ziba Baba 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 Rashita Rabba Zekori Ignara Rikatin Ebebebebe Kosha Zaka Your altar Jesus your cross Must qualify us Oh God Lord In Jesus mighty name The altar Oh the altar of Jesus Cross of Jesus The cross of Jesus The altar that stands before the throne of God The altar that stands before the throne of God The golden altar Must qualify as God Oh God Lord This altar must qualify me This altar must accept me This altar must accept my sin The altar before you God The altar that stands on your throne of God must qualify me the cross of Jesus Christ must qualify me God the cross of Jesus the cross of Jesus the cross of Jesus Christ the cross of the Lord the cross of the Lord the cross where you died Jesus must qualify me God must qualify me God must qualify me God must qualify me God the cross must qualify me God Jesus the cross must qualify me God my cross must your cross Jesus the cross of Jesus Christ the cross of the Lord the cross of Jesus must qualify me God oh Lord God your cross Jesus cross Jesus your 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 cross Jesus the cross of the Lord the cross of Jesus Christ the cross of the Lamb of God the cross of the Son of God, the cross of Jesus, the cross of Jesus, the cross of Jesus must qualify me, God. Mazika ibaka, mazika ibeke, mazokori ba 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 ba. Tondrosi baka zaka. Oh God, Lord, your blood must qualify me, Jesus. The blood of Jesus must qualify me. The blood of the Lamb. The blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus must qualify my Christianity. My cosmos must qualify my my relationship with the God. It is bound of the blood. It is by your blood, Jesus. Or is the Kebasha? Or in the Rosa Katira Zakaria? Or Shondro Bore? Or the Kazikaria? 
I want you to praise the God Lord. Does your blood qualify me? Just look at the blood of Jesus. Does it qualify you as an individual? Does the blood of Jesus qualify you? Is the blood of Jesus saying yes? Is the blood of Jesus saying yes to your relationship with God? Is the blood of Jesus speaking with a loud voice and saying, Yes, you are qualified. Yes, you are qualified. Yes, you are qualified. Is it saying that? Is the blood of Jesus saying, You can, you are, you are able to be righteous. Let the blood of Jesus speak about your righteousness. The blood of Jesus speaks with a loud voice. The blood of Jesus speaks with a mighty voice. The blood of Jesus speaks with a holy voice. The blood of Jesus is holy. The voice of the blood of Jesus is holy. The voice of the blood of Jesus is holy. The voice of the blood of Jesus is holy. The blood of the the voice of the blood of Jesus is holy. Is holy. Speaks the holy voice. Speaks with the holy voice. Speaks with the mighty voice. The voice of the blood. 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 Sanctifies man. Cleanses man. Purifies man. Purifies thoughts. Purifies imagination. The voice of the blood of Jesus. Purifies your imagination. Purifies your imagination. Shazika. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Come Let me hand over to Pastor Farida. But just before I sit down, the Lord taught me to fight with holiness. Tomorrow morning, morning glory. Morning glory. We are going to deal with that. You can't fight. You can't win the battle from an unholy ground. You can't win the battle. You cannot win any battle when you are not holy. You need to pursue holiness, righteousness with all your heart. May God bless you. Let's have our seats. This is the instruction I, I have got. And, and listen carefully. We're going to give our offerings. But listen carefully. The instruction I have that not everyone should give. Only they that have heard from God and what they are bringing to God must be holy to them and the holy before God. He said to me, it's only a few that I will instruct because what they will give will be used for the foundation stone of the glory consecration sanctuary. And tell them they should not defile the foundation. Have I not commanded them? Now listen to me. It's not for everyone. Today's offering is for those that are sure what they bring to God is holy to them. I'm not saying this because we want for you to get your money. In fact, I was feeling that today we should not give. But then he said to me, there are a few here and a few online 
I have commanded. That's instruction number one. Instruction number two. We are not going to have Holy Communion today until we have sorted ourselves. The Lord is giving us a night till next morning that we are able to come to the Lord's table. Number three. If you know you came for a, to receive your healing. Just first receive your forgiveness. First of all, forgive. Someone in this meeting, a prophetess, the Lord tells you, get away from bitterness. You have delayed the nations are dying. My message in you has delayed because you are bitter. Repent of your bitterness and you will be restored. I'm talking to you, my sister. I confirm you as a prophetess of God but you have been blocked by bitterness because of woundedness, because of feeling abandoned, because of slander. Many words were spoken to you and spoken about you because of the prophecies I had put in you and you became bitter. But this is the deciding moment. You choose now or you cannot rise again. Repent of your bitterness. Let go and stand back in your office. Stand back in your office. He says, give up bitterness. Let's pray for that prophetess. Let's pray for that woman of God. Let's pray for the minister. Father God, I bring my sister to you. Grant her the strength and the ability to forgive. Yes. 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 Let go. We will, we, we're upholding you until you let go. We are upholding you. We are upholding you. We are helping you. We are holding your hands. We know it's not easy. But we also know we need the call of God on your life. If we are to do the work God has called us to do, we need the anointing on you. We need you in this work. We need you in this work. We need you in the consecration work. We need you. But bitterness has kept you hidden. We need you in this ministry. We need the grace upon you. But bitterness, you today let go. The work of the Lord is waiting for you. The work of the Lord is dying because you are far. Because you refused to stand again. The work of the Lord is delayed in this place, in this nation. Let go. Let go. Let go. Forgive your husband. Let go that man. 
Musaji umuliki. Forgive that man. Sonyuo mwami uyo. Forgive that husband. Sonyuo mwami uyo. You are a prophetess of God. Forgive him. Release him today. Release him today. Release him today. Release that man. Release that man. Release the father of your children. Release him today. Let him go. The father of your children. That you may be restored in your office as a prophetess to the nations. Forgive and let go. Forgive the father of your child. Forgive and let him go. And the nations will be freed. And the masses will be healed. Forgive. He abandoned you. He left you with a child. He was he betrayed you. But the nations are dying. Today forgive him. Forgive. Forgive that man. Forgive that man. It doesn't take away that you are a prophetess of God. It doesn't stop the call on your life. And we need it in our generation. Something is lacking in us. Because you have not risen. There's a young, there's a woman here. Forgive your father. What he did to you. Forgive your father. Forgive your father. Forgive your father. When you forgive, someone watch right now. If you forgive that man, in days your son will be healed. In days your son will be healed. Your son will be freed from bitterness. In days, you will have a normal son. Maybe you need to be helped to come to the altar to let go. If you forgive them, your son will be restored. Maybe you need to come to the altar to be helped. Can you surrender him to the altar? Can you surrender that person, those people, that, that pastor? Surrender him to the altar. There's someone you need to bring to the altar and say, Lord, I forgive. I forgive. Even the one who raped you. The one who abused you. The one who cheated your land. Took all them all your money. Forgive now. Brother, forgive that person. Now. Forgive them. Forgive. It's not easy. But we need the grace on your life. But you need to forgive. You need to forgive that woman who betrayed you. You need to let go. Because we need you. Don't fear. You need, you need to let go. It's not easy. Actually, this is the breakthrough. Don't go back. Maria, stay there. Maria, Sigala, wow. You have delayed a lot of things. You've delayed a lot of things. Yeah. Wherever you are. There's a woman I'm seeing. Forgive your child. Who does not take care of you. Forgive now. 
Sonyiwa kati. Forgive. Sonyiwa. Forgive. Sonyiwa. Forgive your husband, the Sonyiwa. father of your children. Tata wa abana bo. Forgive that woman. Sonyiwa mukazo yo. I forgive today. Even me, I forgive today. I forgive him. I forgive him. I if I am to go, I need to forgive my brother. I need to forgive that brother that I may be blameless before God. Everybody in the church, can you be praying, please? There are many ministers that this bitterness has mention by name and say I let you go forgive my spiritual father I forgive my pastor I forgive my mother. I Somebody pray. A prayer of release. There's an anointing on you that has been blocked for long. Because of bitterness in, that happened to you in church on the altar someone you wished death forgive them now Forgive him now. Forgiving is a weapon. A weapon of the righteous. Forgiving. Your cancer is being healed right now. Because of forgiving. Your cancer prostate cancer bone cancer blood cancer will be healed tonight because you are saying I forgive those people who took my wealth I forgive them today I will not get caught again I forgive them now I forgive them now. I forgive them now. I forgive her now. I forgive them now. Yes. Yes. Yeah. There is someone here. What do you want to know? You are from Sudan. Over Sudan. And you forgiving. Your nation will have a move of God. Because of you forgiving. Those that robbed you. Mm. 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 
someone with blood problem <coughs> bleeding forgive Soniwa. and the bleeding will go forgive Soniwa. and your daughter will be healed from mental illness tonight for the Lord has forgiven you someone forgive yourself forgive yourself the sin of abortion forgive yourself the Lord is forgiving you and I want to say tonight someone in an adulterous marriage repent and move away from that relationship you are living with a man who you know had his wife but you came into that marriage it's an adulterous marriage let go and God will use you mightily God will use you mightily get out of fornication leave that man he's not your husband you know that God has had the tears of his wife and is now saying get away Mm. you are in an adulterous relationship you are in a fornication you know it sexual sin you know that's not a marriage you know that's not your wife you know God did not sanction that marriage. It's sin, you know it. Repent and put things right. Repent and turn away from evil. Turn away from immorality. Man of God listening to me. Though you have a ministry. Though you have power. And influence. But you know the secret sin. You know the sexual perversion you've been in for years. Repent and seek help. For the Lord is about to remove your lampstand. The Lord loved you. The Lord called you. And gave you his, the grace. For signs, miracles and wonders. You were favored by God. Until you went into perversion. Your lamp is about to be removed. If you don't repent. It's just a few days. A few days. And the lamp is taken away. Father, we come before you in the name of Jesus. Forgive us the sins that you've convicted us. Today we want to forgive those who have trespassed against us. Deliver us from bitterness. Cleanse me from bitterness. Someone say that prayer. Cleanse me from this bitterness of my mother 
Cleanse me blood, from blood and bitterness. Cleanse me from generational bitterness. Purge my soul and my blood. In Jesus' name. Lift your hands, everybody. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pronounce you healed. In the name of Jesus Christ. Oh my God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I pronounce you unblocked. In the name of Jesus Christ. I remove the heaviness. Receive your sight again. Receive your sight as a seer. Receive your sight now as a seer again. Receive your sight now. Receive your sight now as a seer worshiper. As a seer in the church. Receive your sight now. Receive your sight now. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. I pronounce you now healed. I pronounce your sight back. And I say now the fire is back on the altar. The fire is back on the altar. The fire is back on the altar. Oh my God. In Jesus' name. You can go and have your seats. If you can, if you can't, you can stay where you are. Let's get our offering which God has spoken to you which you know it will be so holy to you. Pray with it. Pray with your offering and put it in the basket. As simple as that. You are blessed and healed. Where the basket is. It's what God has told you, not what is, but not what you feel like. It may be just one of us, only one person, what will be holy before God. Let your giving be holy. Not a by the way. Not change. See change. That which has honored ashes, ashes. Honor the Lord today. And I say this not for everyone, just a few of us. Just a few women. There's a few men. Walk and put in the basket. His name, you are worthy, all oh, praise. Oh, praise. Oh, you are worthy, all oh, praise. His name, you are.
Father, we thank you for the foundation stones. Lord, every family in this offering be remembered eternally. The grace that builds come upon them. Lord, whatever is unholy, <coughs> remove it. And that which is acceptable, that which honored you, honor it, Father God. Today, today, may this offering be holy. Father, it reveals our hearts. And I pray in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. I want to make one announcement. Tomorrow is Friday. This is how our day is going to go. We will have morning glory. morning glory and Holy Communion which all of us must attend. Morning Glory is at 5.30 and it will go up to 10. Hear me? And we will have a break and return at 6. And we shall have non-stop before the Lord from 6 to 6 12 hours before the Lord in worship in cleansing in waiting it's a special Shabbat Amen Amen because on Monday it's an important gate in the spiritual current, current that some of us follow. Amen. Amen. So this Shabbat is very important. It's so one of the high Shabbat, the high days. That's why from in the evening until morning of Saturday we shall be here with our families with our dear ones with our lives the Lord will do mighty things but most important we will see his glory Amen how many people say Lord give me the grace to be here through the night Okay. Okay. How I pray that those from Uganda, Uganda you transport some ten people here as an offering to the Lord. Amen. Amen. We shall have time maybe to be in the ground there and call on that name of the Lord. Not even in the sanctuary here, in this place, but down on the land, behind the walls, and saying, Lord, come in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Let me call Pastor Henry to come and close for us. Let's give the Lord a mighty hand clap of praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, let's give the Lord another mighty hand clap of praise. We thank God. For the time well spent in his presence. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Allow me make a few remarks. Very few. Tomorrow, Enjoy. when we come back in the evening, come dressed for war. Don't come dressed for 
party. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That whatever happens to you, even if it is a somersault, you will be safe for that somersault. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You know what I'm talking about. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You never know what might happen. Even the ashes might be in the somersault. So you, you might be on your own. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So you have to be safe. Pastor has talked of being in the ground. What if you are there alone? And you roll. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So come dressed for war. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I know you understand. That's why you are clapping your hands. Praise the name of the Lord. And, uh, and like Apostle said, um, transport someone and invite someone. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Invite someone. Minimum 10 people. Maximum 100. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We thank God. We thank God. Let us stand up on our feet. How many of you here, you but, still have disturbing dreams when you go to sleep? You have funny dreams of the dead. Now raise those hands in the air and say, Lord Jesus, from tonight, I will no longer have bad dreams. I will have dreams of angels. I will have dreams of victory. In the name of Jesus, I close out my dreams to the evil world and I open the realm of glorious dreams in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus someone shout hallelujah hallelujah so don't fear to sleep tonight hallelujah ah uh. Wow. There's a wallet here. When what wallet? Come and pick it if it's yours. I see some dollars inside. You must know the amount. Wow, there are also euros. So okay. I'll not show them to you. They are, they are showing this side, so you, you must be knowing. Also these glasses. Need glasses, you know. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please come and pick them. Goodness and mercy. Goodness and mercy. Power and glory. Healing and deliverance. Prosperity and breakthrough. Is my portion. Is my lifestyle. In the name of Jesus. From tonight. I possess the power to make wealth. I have the anointing to serve God. I possess the wealth of nations. Doors are opening. In the name of Jesus, divine favor is upon my life. Divine wisdom is upon my life. I influence. I have power. I have power. 
over principalities in the name of Jesus. I am not weak. I am not weak. I am not poor. I am not poor. I influence leaders. I influence my family. My in laws are under my power. They no longer have control over me. I speak and they obey. I will speak and they hear. In my family from now on, I will call family meetings and they will hear my voice. The young and the old will hear my voice because the Lord has set me apart to speak to nations, to speak to families, and they hear me. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, hallelujah, hallelujah, and may the grace. Of our Lord Jesus Christ. And the love of God. And the fellowship of the Holy Spirit. Be with us all. Now and forever. Amen. 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 Please tomorrow.